Hello and welcome to After 5 Outdoors. This is episode 5 of the Northwest Minnesota Turkey Hunting Blog. In our previous episode, episode 4, you saw Scott uh, take a pretty nice Jake. And the rest of this episode, we uh, hung out in the blind and I uh, had a tag to fill and just waited to see what would happen here. We didn't know if we were going to scare everything away by uh, firing a couple shots here, but uh, just hang with us and check it out. If you like what you see, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, and leave a comment. Thank you very much for watching After 5 Outdoors. <music> his bird and now we're just gonna sit here my turn and hopefully uh, I've got a little more time so I'm gonna be a little more patient I'm hoping that gobbler that we saw this morning man he skirted us he we saw him over the northwest and he just kind of beelined for the west and uh, he was coming, coming, and like deciding whether he wanted to come over here or keep going the direction he was going. And then a hen and a gobbler started making noise back to our east. And that's where he wanted to go. And then them three jakes come in and Scott pasted that one. And there's one that's got like a messed up foot or a broken foot or something. And he was just kind of hopping along. He got out of here, but the other jake was just kind of like, puzzled is, is what was going on and he just kind of hung out for oh, however long and and then he finally went the way the gobblers did so we're hoping it doesn't take all day but we're hoping they come back this way and we're also hoping mosquitoes get, go away and we moved the blind back into the woods yeah. a little bit further i was a little concerned about maybe that gobbler spotting us we were sticking out a little too much i think so yeah, you yeah, can that was sealed a little bit more now, so that might help. That was my error. I had us out too far because the ground was so uneven where we initially sat it uh, for chairs and everything. So I was like, "Well, let's pull it all a little bit." And then, well, that's setting up in the dark. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> but we we moved back now, and it's more level ground. I wish we would have done that. The only thing problem that we have now is we can't really see on the sides of us, but. We should be okay, hopefully. I'm gonna turn the gas on. Yeah, I'm not complaining about hot oatmeal in the turkey blind. Nope. <laughs> no, you can't beat it. So Tom came running back through from the east, but he's farther away, but I was yelping at him and he'd stop and gobble, but uh, he made a beeline for uh, the west there, so I don't know what, what his deal is, but we've got some geese out here to watch in front of us though, and a lot of wildlife. So we just had a hand come out of nowhere, she's right here in front of us. And hopefully that Tom is with her.
<laughs> yes! Got him! He's a pretty bird though. Yeah, he's not the one, but he'll do. He'll do. <laughs> well, right on. We got him. Two birds before eight o'clock. <laughs> okay, the old heart's pumping. I just shot my first turkey. So that hen came in and we never heard her or nothing. And I was just, I was playing on my phone and like all of a sudden I'm like, oh, she's here. And uh, we were watching her, watching her. And I saw the corner of my eye, I seen him poke his head around the corner here. And uh, he was working this way. And then he stopped and he started going that direction because he was looking at us and he looked at the decoys. And I thought, well, if he gets to the other side of the woods, you know, we're probably done for, you know? Yeah. So, uh, I just got my first tom. <laughs> so we just shot two turkeys in um, three hours in the same spot. That was really cool. I'm super pumped, super excited. And now we got turkeys to clean and uh, turkeys to smoke. So let's go check them out. So it's, uh, it's a joyous time, but it's also just a little sad because now I gotta wait till October to hunt turkeys again. Kind of a recap here. We had that Tom come out this morning and skirted us about 100 yards over here. Yep. And we were calling at him and he was stopping and he was um, all flared up and strutting around and stuff, but he kept going over to, to this guy and then <laughs> like four or five jakes come out, three came to us, Scott dusted the one, and uh... I'm not very good with being patient. <laughs> <laughs> and about an hour later, then that Tom came back across, we called at him, and he stopped, and he strutted a little bit, but he kept going, and he just kind of made a beeline off, and then he went straight west, and then he went south. And uh, so I was like, well, I don't know how long we're gonna have to sit here, but and then all of a sudden I saw this hen come out of this corner right here and she went to the decoys and I thought, well, there's, that Tom has gotta be somewhere around here. And I never heard him. And then about seven, five to seven minutes later, I saw an old redhead come around the corner. You bet. And uh, had a tough camera angle. He was coming out, but he stopped. And then he was, he was looking back this way and he started to head back this way, so I thought, well, now I, I'm gonna have to take him. You know, it's just turkey hunting. This is my first year doing it. Friends have told me I should have done it before, and I just never did, and didn't think much of it. And I'll tell you what, it is one of the greatest thrills there is. Like, if you've not turkey hunted before, definitely try it, you'll love it. It's a great time. Pretty pumped. Yep. Thanks for coming up.